Go, go, Power Rangers! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Power Rangers games for the GBA. In Power Rangers Time Force, you play as 5 different Rangers, in 7 different locations. You jump from one timeline to another, the game doesn't connect the timelines well, as you just know you are in a different time when you see the level change. In rest, you get Megazord boss battles and the gameplay is a basic GBA game of this sort. You punch and karate chop enemies that, as usual, are of multiple types and do some platforming. It's a decent game that, if you are a fan or even if you're not a fan, it will be a good experience. It's a decent GBA game. Power Rangers Wild Force is a beat em up that works in a 3D fashion. The levels usually end up that during the level you beat a lot of small fry and at the end you beat a boss. And after you beat the boss, then you have to beat the boss's Megazord form with, you, with your own Megazord in a one-on-one -on -one battle. It's fun. And it's not a stereotypical beat'em up. You have team combos. With the yellow ranger you both can run like freaks at enemies and close line them, as the IGN reviewer says. The Blue Ranger can fire a charge energy ball at enemies, taking out a bunch at a time, if it's aimed properly, and there are 6 playable characters, so you can guess what nice combos you can do. This one too is pretty fun, even if it's repetitive. You, you do the same stuff, but in different environments. But it's still fun. I mean, I, I had fun. I mean, I remember having fun with the game. I played it, I think, four years ago. But I remember having fun. It's a decent to good experience. Power Rangers Ninja Storm is again a side-scrolling brawler. You get six different rangers to choose from and it's nice that this time there is variety in their moves, unlike other games, where they all feel the same. The rangers look cool, you get long ranged weapons too that look like pistols and it's nice that the games have alternate paths. Depending on the character you play the level with, it, it can develop in different fashions. For example one, if he's captured by the same boss, gets into one level and with the others you get in other levels. In rest you get platforming 2 and Megazord battles, this one too is a decent game. It can get boring, but it's decent. Power Rangers Dino Thunder is again a side scroller brawler with platforming elements and Megazord battles. So just like any other Power Rangers game. But it has less content. You get to play only with 3 rangers and with the 4th fourth, fourth one you play some lousy minigames. There are 5 different locations only in this game and all of the 3 characters feel the same. It's a pretty mediocre game. It's still ok and playable but there are better ones out there. Even the Java game is more impressive than this one. Power Rangers SPD is even more mediocre. The gameplay feels very basic, especially the combat. All of the characters feel the same and now you have even less moves when fighting. You get Megazord battles too and vehicle levels but that doesn't save the game from being lousy and shallow. The game is bearable and if you are a fan you can even like it. But for those who seek only the best or seek exciting games, this one's all of the Power Rangers games aren't for you. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.